All right. So we're back for another sit here, let the camera roll, no edits. I'm just going to talk and hopefully I make sense while also watching the baby monitor and stuff like that. Um, people are probably confused why they're seeing this because yesterday from the time I'm uploading this video, I posted a video saying that I needed a week off just mentally, just to take a break from content and being on the computer and hang out with my family and stuff like that. But there's been some stuff that's come up in the last 24 hours that I just wanted to talk to you guys about. And the response to my video saying I needed to take a break was overwhelmingly positive. You guys in this community are so much more than I could have ever asked for doing this channel. Everybody was very positive and said, dude, we get it. Thank you for letting us know everything's okay, but take your break, man. We totally understand. And I appreciate that. That's super awesome. But there were a couple things that kept coming up in almost every comment that I want to address right now. One of them is a lot of the Europeans and people from non-US countries were asking, is this like an American thing that you need to like explain why you need a break? And I kind of feel like it is, to be honest. I know a lot of countries, you know, laugh and joke about this and we do as Americans too, but our culture here is so work driven that, you know, we don't get a lot of sick days at jobs and maternity or paternity leave or anything like that. So I, I, I guess I kind of felt like I did need to explain myself on why I was taking time off. But the big thing here and the big thing that I want to talk about is that a lot of people kept saying, take more than a week off. Don't get burnt out. Take two or three weeks off. Take a month off and we'll be here when you come back. And that is fantastic. I appreciate you guys that you're supporting me, especially like with the burnout and the mental health and all that stuff. But the hard truth, the ugly truth about this, most YouTubers, unless they're huge and I can't speak for everybody because I don't know everybody's situation, but most YouTubers cannot afford to take a lot of time off. And I'm talking both financially and just the effects of the channel from the YouTube algorithm and stuff like that. So today I just want to take a minute to talk about why YouTubers can't really take a lot of time off. Now, first of all, it is a financial thing. All of the income that YouTubers make is ad revenue, unless, you know, it's like super chats and stuff like that. But me personally, I rely on ad revenue from the videos that I'm doing. And because I'm dealing with music, a lot of you know, not all of my videos are monetized. Now, I will say a lot of them at this point are because I work with the bands and labels. Well, not work with, but cooperate with. I ask for permission before I do reactions. Nine out of 10 videos I put up, I have had a band or a label tell me, yes, you can do this. We'll make sure the copyright gets cleared and it doesn't get blocked and stuff like that. So the income that I make is based off that ad revenue. If I don't post videos for the next week, yes, I will make a little bit off views on the side on other videos, but a lot of the income that YouTubers make is the videos that they're, you know, currently posting. And since I'm not post any, posting anything, I'm not going to make as much. But the other big thing is the YouTube algorithm. The YouTube algorithm really, for lack of a better way of putting it, rewards content creators that consistently upload. That's why I upload on the same days at the same times every single week because the algorithm is more likely to catch on to that and recommend my videos to people more and stuff like that. So for me going a week without posting any new videos after this, this is the only video I'm doing this week, I promise, because I'm going to take the rest of the week off. Because I won't post any more videos, the algorithm is going to lose track of my channel a little bit. It's not going to recommend my videos as much, which means less people will watch, which means less ad revenue. But in the long run, it actually is going to take me more time to catch up to where I was than just this one week I'm taking off. So for example, the only long stretch, sorry, baby monitor. Um, the only long stretch I've taken off since I've started this channel was when our daughter Ingrid was born. Um, I believe I took two and a half weeks off, something like that last March around this time last year. And during that time, from the time I took off, about a month later, all of my stuff went down. Like views were down 50%. 
Ad revenue was down around the same. Subscriber counts were lower than they normally were. I didn't lose subscribers, but I was gaining less each day. And watch time was way down because I wasn't uploading anything new. And it took me about two months from the time I started uploading again to get back to where I was when I originally took that break because it takes time for the algorithm to latch back on again and start recommending videos and all of that stuff. So when I say that I can only afford one week, I really mean that. Like as a content creator, you really have to stay on top of what you're doing, like consistently. Consistency is key with this kind of stuff. And, you know, we're in the very fortunate position that everything I do online in terms of my content creation is paying our bills. And I mean, like our mortgage and our utilities and our food and stuff like that. We're not making much extra. We're not like putting stuff in savings every month or stuff like that, but all of our bills are paid. That's all I can ask for. And I'm not trying to throw myself a pity party here. I'm not asking you guys to go buy merch or donate money or anything like that. Like we are comfortable and happy. We don't need to exceed luxury by any means. We just want to be taken care of. And we are, you know, my wife had to stop working during the pandemic. Then we had Ingrid. She's pretty much a full-time mom. And I had to stop touring during the pandemic. So this is all of our income. So all of that being said, I really need to stay consistent. And this isn't just me. This is a lot of other YouTubers. And last year, I wasn't even over 100,000 subscribers yet. And I am now. So even channels this size still cannot afford to take long breaks. And I would even be willing to bet some of those channels with 400, 500, the 500,000 subscribers, um, they probably can relate to this. I don't know for sure, but that's my guess. I don't think a lot of those channels could probably take much time off either. So I just, I guess if anything with this video, I just want people to kind of understand the mindset of a content creator and really get like why we upload as much as we do. And like, I, I should probably stop using the term we, cause like I said, I can only speak for myself. I don't know every other content creator's numbers, but um, yeah, I guess this is all of these reasons that I just talked about are why myself and most likely other YouTubers have to really stay consistent with uploads and why we don't take breaks more. And it does get tiring. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love doing this. I mean, this is a dream. I'm home with my daughter, my wife. I get to work on my computer. I'm 20 feet away from them at all times if they need me. But there are days where I just, you know, I get burned out. I just don't really want to do much. And um, yeah, I just needed a mental reset. But once again, man, you know, I, I love doing this. I love this community. I wish I could take more time off. But the reality is, as I'm still building this channel, I need to stay on top of everything. And I just kind of wanted to explain that. And if there's any other YouTubers that happen to see this, uh, feel free to give us your thoughts, man. Cause I would like to know if you relate or you disagree. Um, but, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for me for now. Uh, Ingrid is waking up on the baby monitor. So I'm going to wrap this up. Um, this will be the only upload this week. I will probably live stream a couple times. Maybe we'll do a Q and a in a couple days after this. But uh, again, guys, thank you very much for your support. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of this week and I will be back very soon with more reactions and podcast interviews and stuff like that. So wherever you are, be safe, be kind to each other, have a good one. And I guess I'll see you later.